Headliners Team 2 has been leaked. Of course it's been leaked. But the team looks much better than the Team 1 that we got, and it's going to include a lot of players that you guys are going to really, really enjoy. So we're going to go over all the leaks, some investments we can make ahead of those leaks, and of course, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I have an insane Team of the Year video for you guys coming out very, very soon. Don't miss out on it. I'm serious. All right, so jumping right into the leaks, boys, we got a pretty full team so far. This doesn't include the mini release that's going to come on the Sunday after, but we do have, obviously, the, the cards that we have right now. So starting off from the bottom, we have somehow, I, I don't know how these three guys got included, but we have Ali Watkins, Zapata, and Rafael Leao. Now, it's not to say these guys didn't have a good season. I mean, they all played have played very decent. I just don't know if they were really worth hitting the headliners team. I feel like EA tries to base headliners off of special cards and stuff, and I don't think any of these guys got any informs yet this year, so I'm not too sure what the selection is for them. Regardless, they're going to have pretty nice cards. I think it'll be fairly decent. The next two we have is a goalkeeper in Trap. He's had a very good season. I think he's going to be a good card, a very decent usable card probably, so that should be a nice little fun one to use. And then we also have Laborde here, and um, I, I know the pronunciation's horrible, please just, just, just let it go. So yeah, these are going to be two cards that are decent. I mean, most of these cards that we just named off are probably going to be sitting at very low prices to open up in this promo, but the next five are really good, so it, I guess it kind of balances out. Next up we have Berea. Uh, this guy has two informs. He's absolutely insane to use at the start of the game. He should be starting off at 88. It should be plus one to their inform. I might be completely wrong, um, but it's going to be at least 88 or higher. So he looks like he's going to be a really sick card. I'm very, very excited to use him. And right alongside him in the midfield spot is going to be Fofana. We had his player of the month. We had an inform of him. He looks to be a really good card, and I think he's going to he's going to be a really fun one to use. I'm excited to see how this card kind of pans out and use but alongside him, and, and things just get really good from this point on, we have Vinicius Jr. Oh my god! Yep, he has another card, a headliner live card, gonna be upgradable. He's gonna be sick. He's gonna be very, very expensive. And we just go over to the market here real quick. You'll see Vinicius is probably the most popular player in this game right now. And rightfully so, he is the most meta card to use. He has been for a while, but he's never had the special cards. And this year, he's... Getting the special cards is informs, you know, we're very expensive at the start of the game. I'd imagine this card starting off at the price he will and the rating he is, he's going to be a card that ends up just flying in price. Uh, probably going to start off over a mil. Next up, we have Jao Cancelo. He's had an insane season. He's been probably the best fullback in the Premier League so far this year. Uh, just his attacking returns are crazy. Defensively, they're amazing. It is Man City, so, you know, they, they keep clean sheets regardless of who's on the pitch. But Cancelo has been insane. He's going to have a really fun card. He'll probably get a nice little pace boost, too, and be very, very usable. He does have a couple special cards already, so expect his card to be kind of higher priced and, of course, higher rated. Next up, we have a card who I feel like has been kind of going under the radar this year, and that's Joshua Kimmich. I actually, um, little spoiler for the Team of the Year video coming out, I actually have a, a little prediction that he could slot into Team of the Year. He's had a really good season. I feel like it's just gone under the radar so much. But yeah, we're going to get a Kimmich card. He's going to look very good. And to top it off, our leader for this kind of promo is going to be Mohamed Salah. It's a no-brainer. He has he's probably been probably the hottest player this season. And it, it it's... What else is there to say? It's most Salah. But before you guys click off the video, we have something to talk about. Because you guys can make a lot of coins on these cards. And the current headliners team, we're getting close to some buy time. So stick around. We're going to talk about the market right now. Let's go. So, of course, it's no shock that this promo has been kind of slow, I guess, to start. It's not a knock on the game, I guess. It's just kind of repetitive. We've had headliners for you know, the last couple years, it just, I don't know, the promos are kind of all blending together, but we saw a lot of these cards actually kind of settle down at lower prices, like an 88 rated at 26k, that is really ridiculous, especially because the card isn't horrible, I know he's got 3 star, 3 star, but like, it's a good card for those stats at that price, uh, Kandreva sits really pretty much at discard price, but a lot of these cards have sat at decent prices, and I think that we're kind of getting close to that buy time when they do go out of packs. Now, the cards I'm really looking at are these discard ones. First off, as fodder. Um, first off, Sangara here. I think an 86 rated at that price. And not only just because he's 86 rated, but he actually looks decent. I think he's going to be a card that kind of flies up. And the reason that I say that is because in the last promo, 
We kind of saw the same trend with a lot of the cards when they went out of packs. A lot of them started to push up in price just because they got rare, especially on Xbox. Uh, if you guys are on Xbox or PC and you see like a pretty big price gap in between the Xbox to PS price, don't be afraid to pick up because those cards could end up kind of reaching and going back up. And I guess you can say the same thing for PS. Usually if an Xbox price is much higher than a PS price and it's due to demand and not um, not more of the meta cards, not the low rated ones like Ramsdale wouldn't be a good example. But for example, if Mbappe or Mbappe is not a good example because he's f crazy expensive. But let's just say like, you know, Carrasco was set at 70k while, you know, on Xbox you set at 90k. Th those are the ones you want to look for. You want to look for those cards where, you know, meta cards are higher on Xbox than they are on, say, PlayStation because those rise. And of course, vice versa for Xbox if there's a huge gap. That's why I kind of have my eye on a couple of these cards. Um, just kind of, you know, I always look through and, and see what cards, what do the gaps look like and stuff like that. And it's why the Savonier card kind of took my eye. Now, these are risky and they are flips. So you guys have to kind of sell on your own. You can't be just waiting for me to say sell in a video. Uh, but there is a 15k gap. He is a very good card. He looks just about Hullet Gang. Four star, four star. So it's these kind of cards that I look for. Um, where these little price gaps kind of come in and like I said, I think most of these cards might rise out of packs Especially some of these meta ones uh, with good links, especially if you could find links to you know guys that are gonna be in team 2 as well uh, They'll probably end up doing very well But I do think that time to buy these headliners cards is gonna be rather soon So the only thing I'd be weary of really buying ahead of this promo would be any links Especially because leaks have been out and probably people have known for a couple days. Well, I know for a fact people have known for a couple days. So likely a lot of investments and link investments and stuff like that and out of packs. They've already started to kind of go up. So it's not really worth it. I mean, just take a look at this Raphael card. I mean, he's 2.3k. And if we go and take a look at his actual card. Yes, it's mostly flown today when the leak has been official. But I'm sure there was people who were buying in a few days ago. Kind of just waiting at this 450 mark. You can see these spikes up to like 900 coins on Xbox. And you can see that like people knew ahead of time, like buying at the 400 coin mark. When the information inevitably came out, um, you can see the card exploded up to like 5k on the Xbox back down now. But these are cards you have to be careful for. You don't want to buy in at this point, but you guys could use it as a sniping filter, of course. Other than that, I mean, there's just not too many other links I'd really look to kind of go into. Uh, there's nothing really specific. There's not any specific meta meta players. Jao Cancelo has many different links you could choose from. Salah has many different links you can choose from. These players, they all have so many different selections. It's just not really worth it. The only card that maybe you can consider buying specific links for would be Fofana. But there's not really a, a crazy, crazy player uh, with his kind of league. Aside from maybe like Drogba. So it's like, I, I don't really think there's really much worth into going in. But if we go ahead and take a look at just all the players in his nation, these are the only ones I kind of take a look at is these players that have just like really specific links. I mean, maybe Kessie could be a card that actually maybe does rise a little bit, especially the rule breaker being that he's been out of packs for a while and stuff like that. But even then, you'll see the card was at 68k today, 88 on X, on PlayStation. He's gone up a tiny bit on both consoles. But maybe as like another center mid link, you could see this card start to move a little bit too. Uh, if Fafana is really good, of course. I, I don't know the stats officially. And if his stats aren't superb, obviously he the links won't move up too much. But those are kind of just things that you can look out for. Of course, Headliners Team 2 comes out this Friday, and then next Friday we'll likely either get Team of the Year nominees, a Team of the Year vote, and then a Gap Week heading into Team of the Year, which should drop on the 21st of January. So we are, we're, we're making our way there. Team of the Year is coming, and then we're likely going to see future stars afterwards. So we have a lot of good content coming. Headliners is always kind of that promo in between. Uh, luckily, Team 2 is much better than Team 1. Hopefully it brings alive the game a little bit, but we'll see. Um, that's kind of my take on the market and all that. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Don't miss tomorrow's video. I'm serious. You guys are going to love it.